offending someone and then calling them fragile, sensitive, or triggered to shut them down, etc. is cheap, manipulative, and counterproductive. It goes like this. Person 1 makes an inflammatory statement that strongly challenges another's views. Person 2, the target of the statement, will take the bait and respond, often in a defensive manner as they feel attacked. They were, that was the point of the initial statement. Person 1, elated with themselves, smugly ridicules person 2 and calls them fragile to shut them down. Person 2 wants to respond, but if they defend themselves, person 1 will claim this is proof of their fragility. If they don't reply, person 1 will claim they've won the argument. The goal should be to win over people that hold opposing views with rational argument, patience, and understanding. Ridiculing doesn't work, especially not online. I personally feel like a large percentage of social media users need to take a few deep breaths, stop focusing on one-upping each other with meaningless, toxic argument, and focus on commonalities that bring us together rather than militantly pointing out differences that cause frustration and division. Wishful thinking, lol. Because this is a surefire way to win the argument, and in this day and age, no one's trying to change minds and spread information. They're just trying to win the argument at all costs. OP, this is called a thought terminating cliche, and once you understand what they are, you'll likely see them used all over the place. Some recent examples, yes, these are context dependent, and no, this list is not exhaustive. There are tons of examples. Using Karen as an insult. Using OK Boomer as an insult. Cancel culture, Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, etc. White Fragility, the Affordable Health Care Act, the Patriot Act. Calling someone a racist without any evidence. Saying someone is triggered, a snowflake, etc. You just described the entire internet and cancel culture. The problem is, it is not enough to just stop the discussion anymore. The person must be ruined. I agree, but learning to control emotions and not get defensive is the best way to irritate the shit out of those people. This is so true. I once had a discussion about abortion on this subreddit. I'm pro-choice, this person was clearly pro-life. We expressed our views and agreed to disagree and thanked each other for not getting crazy and have a nice weekend. I so appreciated this. People are so quick to challenge you and to try to win, especially on Reddit. What are you trying to win? I can't stand the whole fragile snowflake triggered name your insult mentality. That's become so popular with a lot of our population, it just shows that they're an uncompassionate asshole. But on the flip side, I do think a lot of our population has become way too easily offended. I'd never be one to use one of those derogatory remarks, but I have thought to myself, come on now. Going to the cinema on your own is not weird, it just makes sense. No small talk required, no finding booking seats next to your friends and family, getting snacks just for yourself, no need for sharing because this is my popcorn, want to watch the credits to catch that post credit scene, go ahead, want to leave early, go ahead, leave, no general consensus required. Last film I saw was Knives Out, on my own, loved it. Don't knock it until you try it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I went to see Midsummer alone at a midnight showing, and I was the only person in the entire theater. Quite the experience. I have never understood why people think going to the movies alone is weird. It's dark and silent, pretty much the least ideal environment for socializing. 
I like finding parts of the eggshell in my eggs. It's virtually tasteless and adds a nice surprising crunch to usually really soft eggs. I also like eating shrimp tails after eating shrimp. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe I'm a psychopath. Oh dear, if this isn't unpopular, I don't know what is. You're absolutely vile. You're definitely a psychopath. Take my upvote. This is exactly what this sub is created for. I find it disgusting, but do as you like. Enjoy your eggshells. Thank you for watching. Join me for the next unpopular opinion. Have a great day.